Miss Leon, Fort Charles. All he wanted to do was save Mrs. Hardy, and he did that. Is anyone interested in what I have to say? Your internship will not be terminated. Yes. Quiet, quiet, please. Yes. Please, Rex, make this be over soon. At the nurses' ball Friday night, you will pay me my money. What about Serena? Morning. Mm. Long night? Yeah. Is there a problem? Maybe. You feel like sharing? Not particularly. I see. So I'm going to get the monosyllabic bit uh, for no apparent reason. You want a reason? Fine. You told the review board that we followed the rantings of a deranged killer. I'd say that's reason enough. Hey, Jake, have you seen Karen around? Not for a while. Uh, she got assigned to the attending from hell. Well, it sounds good to me after standing around doing... Hi. I'm gonna go grab a shower before I hit the floor. All right. Nice flowers. Karen will love them. You know, Ramsey, let's forego the small talk and stay out of each other's way. Well, that'll be a challenge considering we're working together now. You know, let me say something for the record, Scanlon. If you're waiting for some kind of apology from me, you can forget about it. You know, Rems, you want to have it out here right now? Because I'm ready. Hey, what's up with the kid? Well, she ate a waffle and a bowl of cereal. She's watching a video. Well, is that all she does? Well, it's not like we're giving her a lot of options. Oh, she's got better than half the kids in this country. <sighs> she loves old movies. I mean, she says she watches them all the time with her daddy. Danielle, try not to get too sentimental. Well, it's hard not to. I mean, Serena is such a great kid. She even loves all the old Thin Man movies. Yeah, you were a great kid, too. What'd that get you? I just feel so bad for her. I mean, she really misses her father. I mean, all she talks about is when she's going to see him again. That's very touching. But we have a job to do. Easy for you to say. You're not the one dealing with her. No, I'm the one dealing with coming up with a strategy so that we can get our money. You do remember the money, don't you? Well, if you're so good at coming up with strategies, why don't you find some ways to keep her busy? I mean, I'm running out of videos and toys, not to mention disguises. Oh, no. Dealing with a kid, that's your department. Yeah, well, I hate it. I mean, I hate sitting there looking at that little face and having to lie to her. Danielle, it's almost over. You're always saying that. No, no. This time is for real. It's all going to end tonight. OK, look, I only have a few minutes. I don't want Kevin to wonder what we're up to even more than he already does. What were you doing all night? Thinking. I'm trying to pull together a plan. I can't do it. I, I haven't come up with anything. I don't think I really want to until we get some proof from that creep that Serena's OK. Yeah, well, this creep better do it soon. You know what I think? He is having fun. I think he was actually enjoying himself. I mean, making us find a way to get the money to him. I'm going to find this guy one day. And when I do, I'm going to cut his head stop. off. Stop. Just stop, OK? If it doesn't do any good right now, what we need to do is come up with a plan to get him his ransom money, which is really cute, because we don't even know where he is. Oh, I just wish that you weren't mixed up in this whole thing. Hey, you know that I would do anything for Serena. I know, I know. Well, look, maybe we should go back to the hospital lab, you know, maybe, maybe the guy will show up again. Oh, that's good. Go back to the same place. Do you really think the guy's going to show up there twice? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have many choices. OK, you're right. I will go back. Maybe because we have no other choices, he'll show up again. Well, it's, it's a good thing that I'm, I'm rich, that I got $5 million to give to the, to the FBI and $5 million to give to the kidnappers. Did you ever think that if you weren't rich, maybe Serena wouldn't be kidnapped? <sighs> Sorry. I just, I can't stand this. I want to tell Kevin. I think he needs to know. He thinks something's no, up more no, than what's... No, no, Lucy, we're not telling Kevin anything. The kidnapper specifically said that. But couldn't I just tell him? Why would the kidnapper find no. out? He wouldn't have to know. No, no, because what if Kevin thinks that it's not such a good idea for you? What if he just blabs everything to the FBI? Serena's life here is at stake. <sighs> Do you think it's easy for me not to say anything to my parents? No. Now promise me. Promise me. Okay. 
I promise. There you are. Hi. Uh, he wanted to get some fresh air, you know. The FBI just handed this over. It was delivered to you by the kidnappers. Quick messenger service found it shoved under their door early this morning. Quick messenger service? Doc, you know that's the one that I always yeah, use. Yeah, I know that. So do the kidnappers. There was a note instructing the service to charge it to your account. Oh, boy. So these kidnappers, they know all this kind of stuff about me? And they're anxious to let you know that Serena's alive. At least as of this morning's paper, anyway. Well, how did the FBI get a hold of this? They screen everything that gets delivered here. Look at her, look so sweet and innocent. What the hell do you think this picture was taken? Conklin said that the picture's been cropped. Whoever these people are, they're not giving away anything. Except the fact that Serena seems to be alive and well. Well, she seems okay. I mean, she's not too skinny or, or anything, huh? Yeah. Clothes are clean. She does look well fed. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I bet she's trying to be so brave, you know? These people don't deserve to live. Dangling my daughter in front of me like this when I get a hold of them. They're not gonna live to spend a penny of that money. Once Serena is back safe, then we'll think about revenge. Scott, we can hold on, right? One more week, you can do that, okay? What is this? Did you change plans again? Take it easy. I just want you to take that to the hospital, to the pathology lab. Nothing has changed. When you said that this would be over tonight, what did you mean by that? Well, I meant that if Scott and Lucy are the slick operators they claim to be, they can have the girl back tonight. Please let that happen. Come on now. Just, I, I want you for just a minute to stop and think. What is in this for you, huh? I mean, by the time we are through, you are going to have enough money to buy your own theater company. I mean, you, you can finally let the world see that Lady Macbeth inside you. I'm not going back to New York, no matter what happens. What are you going to do? I'm staying here in Port Charles. Oh, my, my, my. Don't tell me that you have fallen for the dynamic and brilliant Dr. Jake now. And all of this since yesterday? I was lying when I said I didn't have feelings for him. Lying? To me? I didn't know how you'd feel. How I feel? Is that you better not let this little romance of yours get in our way. I don't want your boyfriend messing things up. He doesn't know anything. Let's just keep it that way. Are we talking physical violence here? Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? I'd punch you out, you'd bring me up on charges. It's how you do things, isn't it? I think things through, whereas you prefer to showboat. Oh, that's right, and that's what you wanted the committee to believe, isn't it? But nobody bought it. And all this so-called thinking and weighing the options, it's nothing more than you looking out for number one. That's why you didn't lift a finger to save Audrey Hardy's oh, life. Oh, yeah, you're always on the side of right and virtue. Yeah, I like to do what's right. And that's why you brought in Karen Wexler's daddy and all his hospital connections to bail you out. Is that what you think? Oh, come on, it was so obvious. Scott Baldwin came sailing into that yeah, meeting right Scott on Scott Baldwin cue. showed up on his own. Right, Karen had nothing to do with it. Look, I haven't seen Karen or her father. I don't know why he showed up. Well, surely you've noticed that Karen would do just about anything for you. Let me make something really clear to you, Ramsey. Karen and I have known each other since the fifth grade. We're friends. Now, I know that concept may be a little hard for you to understand, considering you don't have any. You know, you got enough flowers over there for a derby winner. All that for a friend, huh? Yeah, all that for a friend. And what does Karen's husband think of your little floral tribute? You know what, Ramsey, you'd have to ask him yourself. You know, you sell yourself as this saint. And you're sniffing around a married woman. Oh, please. But that should be no problem for the almighty Scanlon brothers. Probably have a connection at the Vatican. That's it. I can't believe that nobody at this messenger service saw anything. I think you're dealing with professionals. I, um, I, I, I gotta get these over to the hotel. What, now? And the show must go on. Lucy, you didn't sleep at all last night. Yes, I did. 
How did you know? Are you ever going to take it easy? Yes, I am. I promise. Tomorrow. Lucy. Doc, I got to do this, see, because the dresses have to be right. I've worked too hard on them, and, and I got to make sure they, they're fine, you know, and they fit still. She's right, you know. Uh, now that she's pregnant, she, she tends to blow up like a, a big blowfish. No, I don't. I haven't even gained an ounce yet. Lucy, I don't see why you even have to go through with the nurse's ball this year. The nurse's ball is a tradition. It, it's a tradition I started. I know. You're also in your first trimester, and you're worried to death about Serena. Either one of those could exhaust you. I can't just walk away from the nurse's ball. Too many people gown on me to do this, and I've got John Hanley, and I've got Stone to think about. I still miss them, and I love them. So please, would you try to see my point of view? She's right again, you know. It, it's better, you know, to be busy than not. Right, right. I, I can't just sit around. I mean, think about the stress on me and the baby if I was just sitting around worried about Serena all the time. This is better. I have something to do. I know that. Doc. Hey. This can't be open for negotiation. Okay? I gotta go. I gotta get these over to the hospital. And, 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 and I'll call you later, wait, wait, okay? Wait, wait. The hospital? Why? Uh, well, because, uh... That's where the sets are, and you know what is so horrible? If you've worked so hard in the wardrobe and it clashes with the scenery, you can't have your wardrobe fighting the scenery. But you told me the sets were stored at the hotel. Oh, uh, right. Well, you know what? Usually they are. I mean, last year they were, but th this year they're at the hospital for some crazy reason. I gotta go. Ta, I'll call you later, okay? I I I'll call you when I know my wardrobe doesn't clash. Ooh.